the most recent E. coli outbreak involving romaine lettuce from Yuma, Arizona, hits close to home for Lauren Bush, who got extremely sick after eating a spinach salad years ago. Within less than a week of eating the salad, I was hemorrhaging. I remember turning to my parents and saying, I I'm really scared. I mean, do you do you think I could die before they figure out what it is? It took doctors more than six months to find the source of her food poisoning, E. coli bacteria in the spinach. That was back in 2006. A new technique that relies on genetics is now changing the way the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention connects the dots on foodborne illnesses. So it's really important for us when we're doing an investigation to be able to connect the person in Connecticut to Texas to Colorado to know that they're all part of the same outbreak. By doing whole genome sequencing on DNA samples from different people, scientists can see if it's the same germ. Initially, health departments sent samples to the CDC, but now all 50 states are getting money to help them set up their own labs, like this one in Colorado. Uh, so all in all, uh, the process from start to finish can be achieved in, in less than 72 hours. So far, the work has mostly focused on listeria, but by the end of the year, labs are expecting to be using it in more common causes of food poisoning. The CDC estimates about 3,000 people die each year from all forms of food poisoning combined. But we're actually working towards sequencing all um, foodborne bacteria in real time, so that would include things like salmonella and E. coli. So the sequencing occurs in this area. While whole genome sequencing didn't detect the current romaine lettuce outbreak, it was used to help link cases in more than a dozen states. We can see that the bacteria in that outbreak are very closely related to one another. For Bush, who is still suffering from complications, she believes getting the word out sooner could help countless people. The turnaround time in my own case was so long. I mean, think of all the product that was out there that families continued to buy. The new DNA testing could transform how and when outbreaks come to light. Kathy Young, Associated Press.